All right, welcome to firmware update for CK71. We need to first remove the battery. Then remove the handle. Then you need to remove the casing that holds the uh, access port for the SD card. There's a magnet here, so you may have to pull it a little bit, or you need to just make sure the screws are completely out. And even then, you may have to turn it over to get it to, to come out. All right, now you have two SD card slots. The one we need is the smaller one underneath. I'll point to it. It's the one way down here. So you gotta, there's a little arrow to tell you which way to open the ports. Um, you got to slide it back towards the left and a little click, and then you can open it. Um, this one is slides uh, to the back, and you hit a click, and then it opens as well. All right, now you gotta be careful over here because the micro SD card, there's two little channels on the left side and the right side here that the card sits into to so it's flush with the back of the plate. The card needs to be in that spot. It's just the adapter for the card, just so it stays safe. Here's a little micro SD card, and it gets into that back channel. Just gonna try to slide it way in the back there, so it kind of just slides down. It takes a few set tries to get it going. There it goes, and then it's in the, actually in the slot now, see, because it's in the channel. All right, you get, you push this down, and then you slide the little thing forward. Use your finger because you don't want to scratch the card, and then you also lock this one back as well. Now the system will not turn on without this back piece on, so you have to put this back on and secure it. You don't have to be super tight, but it has to be it has to be secured on there. Okay, and then you put the battery back in, and then you turn the unit on by hitting the power button. It will automatically start the firmware update process. You don't have to do anything at this point, just let it go. It's going to reboot about three times. Okay, now it says the auto flash complete. At this point, you just need to take the battery out of the system. You don't need to hit the power button or anything else. And then remove the SD card from the back as well. card back into the little protective adapter and then reseal the unit back so make sure you secure both of these as well lock them back down You can then reattach the handle. And then put the battery back in. Now when you turn the unit back on, it will 
go through its normal boot process, but it also may install the Mobi software by default because it's in the saved uh, system area. So this installing arm is actually reinstalling the Mobi client for it to get all the pre preferences back again. Now the scanner will not have wireless by default, so you will have to scan the barcode provided to you with the actual wireless credentials. Make sure the barcode is in the box, the double box of the scanner. The system will need to be rebooted after the barcode is scanned. And once it's in the wireless, you're good to go.